We finished this morning with a list of um, problems that we'd identified by talking to people like you that you were to a certain extent confirming. Now what I'm going to do now is just go through some of the, uh, the research insights about the details of those, very small details, and how to deal with them. And you can try and think about, well, okay, how does that resonate with what these guys have been saying during the day? And I think you'll find there's some very, very close relationships. Restricted access, we've heard a lot about that. <clears throat> Restricted access and the sort of process stuff, that should you stick to the process? And we've already covered this to a certain extent. You know, if you get this, this, um, this statement that if you communicate with anybody else, you will, it will you'll be excluded or something bad will happen to you. And we've already found today that a lot of people have said, that's not necessarily true. Okay, let's have just have a look at what we found from the research. I mentioned this earlier. Out of all the people, 2,000 that we talked to, uh, I think there was one who found they'd ever been disqualified by breaking that rule. Okay? Now, I do want to caveat that. I think Peter Smith caveated it this morning. Be very careful in the public sector. We're not saying automatically always break the rule. Okay? Alfredo's told us a couple of times today they break the rules. Absolutely fine. We're going to look at what might happen when you do that. Careful in the public sector because it could mean everybody has to start again. Okay? But you know your public sector if you're selling into it better than, better than I do. Okay, so... What do people do then? So this is looking at new suppliers and their success rates when there's no prior executive contact. But